Hello there, YouTube. Here's another simple little antenna you can make. This is a three quarter inch wooden dowel. It was only three and a half foot long, which is buying four foot. I would have left it four foot. But all this is is just a uh, 14 gauge speaker wire head. I split it apart. And I left a lot of space in the bottom, so I don't know if I'm going to put that in whatever. Go all the way to the bottom. But you could drill a hole through that can. It is flimsy. I'm going to put some braces inside and hot glue it so this can don't wobble. Then you can fill it full of rocks. Just go out and get some rocks. It's something you can make is pretty simple. I put like a two inch coil or so down there. And then you could keep pulling wire off it. I've done that. Because for FM, it's probably too long. Keep pulling wire off it. I always go to a station down low. As you can see how I drilled the hole through there. I just drilled the hole through there, and as it comes around the last wrap, shove it through. And you get used to winding that stuff. I made a little tighter wrap so it gets towards the bottom. You see how the spacing gets a little closer? No formulas, no nothing. Just some idea out of my head. I did watch on the internet years ago. It was called a broomstick antenna. You wrap like 100 feet of wire around a stick. I think it's just a waste of wire. It was for shortwave listening on radios that don't have to have a ground, like a little portable. I just figured it's a waste of wire. I really did. Because I made one, and I turned around and I made one like this for my shortwave, and I liked it better. Less wire. Same as the bottom. I just come around. The last wrap, come to the hole, come this way. If you got to take wire off, just keep taping it with some tape. When you get to what you like, then go ahead and run it through the hole and tighten it up. It's nice if you put this in a vise. I'm going to move the camera too fast. Nice if you put this in a vise to wrap it. But I just wrap it setting in the chair and wrap it around there tight. You want to get it as tight as you can. Because as tight as you get it, it'll stay nice and coiled. But just a simple little antenna. We'll have a short video when we're done of it hooked to the radio. I'm going to fill that can full of rocks. I'm going to take some uh, wooden popsicle sticks or something. I'm going to take and make like a brace inside of here. Because this can's really flimsy. It'll wobble all over. You can take a piece of board and bore whatever hole. Like say that's three quarters, draw it, bore a three quarters hole in a piece of wood and glue it down in there for a wooden base. Simple idea to make. It's something to make if you're stuck inside on a winter day. It's just speaker wire, just pull it apart. Pull it apart carefully so you don't rip it up. But it should come apart pretty easy. Enough of that, self explanatory. Light's kind of glaring in here, but I did get a little tired as I got towards the bottom. And if you experiment, you may come up with something better than what I did. But you're not out much. You can buy these wooden dowels for a couple dollars. It was some piece I'd cut off. If it was four foot, I would have left it. But you can use all kinds of ideas for a base. You could use a fruit jar and drill a hole in the lid. It's just a simple wooden screw goes up there. Try to find a big washer if you can, if you go through a can. I don't have a washer on there, but I'm going to put some bracing so that don't wobble. If you can try to find some big washer with a small hole, if you use a can, you could use a paint can, you could use anything. I may find a nice jar and fill it full of rocks or something. But something simple to make, something to play with. On listening, you really can't hurt a radio, you can't hurt anything by playing around. But we'll have a little video when we're done of it in use. A couple of pictures of how I braced the inside of my can. May or may not. Self-explanatory. Just glue some braces in there or something. Like little spokes, popsicles. It would keep this tin from wobbling. Or like I said, find a better can. Go get a little quart paint can. They're really solid. Use the lid. You can drill a hole around your wire down through here. Then you can come out of the bottom if you want. I left enough stick there because I don't know if I'm going to put it in a wooden base or something. Yeah, okay. I think we covered that part. Okay, this is what I did. I took a little bit off the coil. It was a little over two inches. It's about two inches. And I like the three-quarter size dowel myself. 
One reason I want to use a cardboard salted peanut can because I wanted to keep this isolated from putting on a metal desk or somewhere, metal show. Got the number six machine screw. It's got a big washer on the inside. Make sure you come up so you don't touch that metal ring where the lid pops on. And then I tape that on. I filled this full of rocks. It's pretty hefty. It's not going to tip over. I made some braces out of plexiglass that were vertical, you know, go this way. Some little divider pieces. And then another little piece across. Just something in there, hot glued it so this top don't flex. It's a little flexy, but I'll back away from it. Get in here at the station. This station is really hard to get. I'm listening to a country station. I can't tell you exactly where it is. But. I, so I end up taking about another foot of wire off it. But what I did was, you don't want this all unravel to get loose on you and you do all that work. Put a little piece of tape up here. Or down here, I should say. Put a little piece of tape down here so this don't unwrap. And then pull it up a little bit. Because I had these close together. I spaced it further and further apart. So it's about even, about an inch or so. Then I can end up taking about a foot off. So. It's never going to be exact without some kind of analyzer or something on it. But it works good. Especially local. Local is going to pull in anything. But it's just something neat looking. And it does work. I'm walking around here in the room. It's changing the station. It works better when you hold it up in the air. If I hold this up in the air, put it on my hand, stick it up towards the ceiling, it's way better. The higher you get it, the better it is. But something for indoors. Something simple. There's really no science behind it. I just like having a load here. I made it without a load. It seems to be better with a load on here. I always had luck if I put a little load on the bottom of the antenna. But thanks for watching. I'll take a couple pictures and include in there. Just another short tip. If you're just going to use one wire to your stereo, find your piece of coaxial cable. This is 75 ohm, like for your TV cable channels, satellite, or car, 50 ohm, CB. Just use the center. You're just keeping the signal inside of here until it gets to the back of the radio. And I did show that. You just wrap, you drill a hole, pull your wire through. I drilled a hole in the can real close. Make sure you don't cut your wire. It's way better setting up here in the air and starting the stove. I've got it isolated. The stove pipe, I think, was messing with it. But the little tip I added in there. This will isolate your antenna because I had a, about a foot of wire in there and I moved it over and took the wire out. It was a lot better. Picking up another station that's hard to get, even my antenna outside in the air. Certain days, certain weather conditions are better, but just use your center. Don't worry about grounding this at all. Find the FM terminal on your radio where it just says like F in any of the FM terminals. Some radios only have one. Thanks for watching.